Remember to like, comment, share with your friends, and subscribe if you're new. And if you're already a subscriber, be sure to have post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my new content. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well, and thank you for tuning into Moose Motion. This video will be going over some more set building in my mini studio basement. This first set in particular is rather special because it's not actually for my personal use really. It is technically for Wrecking is Racing, which is a little diecast racing channel, which I suggest you all go check out. The link is available in the post description below, because all this work is for him because we're making a new little intro for his YouTube channel. Later on during this video, we'll also have a little segment to give you a sample of his work. So after this film is done, be sure to go check out his channel and show it some love. As always, if you enjoyed my video as well, be sure to leave an old thumbs up, give it a good old smack, show it how much you appreciate my hard work, and comment below what you think of the sets, be sure to share with your friends, and perhaps consider subscribing if you're new, and if you're already a subscriber, be sure you have your post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my new content, because the Windigo is coming up soon, as well as a bunch of animations that will be coming out soon, not exactly sure on when the time set is going to be, because this is, well, going to be thousands of photos, unfortunately, but at least at this point, I have more than enough stages set for, well, the photo madness. Apart from my obvious slow descent into, well, insanity, I sure hope you enjoy the video and just want you to know that I highly appreciate your, this, uh, your support, you're the reason I keep working very hard, and the reason I keep, you know, screwing up my lines because I can have a lot of lack of sleep because of all of this. You've also probably noticed there's a little pug tending to wander around following me aimlessly as I build the set that is few. She's, uh, well, unfortunately you would swear I gave birth to that dog, so she's going to be around periodically during the video. As well as keep your eyes peeled for Milton the Moose. For those of you who don't know or perhaps new here, he is our mini mascot, and there's little challenges during my building process videos, where if you are the first to spot him and timestamp at what point he shows up, you will have your comments pinned at the top of the comments section, as well as get a shout out in my next video. So, well, Good luck, this one isn't easy, but I uh, will be kind of nice and say if you start looking around around this time period, you're probably going to get lucky, so good luck dear viewers! Oh boy, I get to be part of the unboxing trend. I've had these for probably a few years though. How oh, anticlimactic. And another one! Oh boy! <laughs> Well, actually, this is kind of special for me because, well, I have an I Rock Dead in real life, so now I can have an excuse to open it. Huzzah! Cool. Anyways, enough with the unboxing stuff. It's time for something more exciting!
So I hope you enjoyed that little segment of what Reckon is Racing has to offer. So now we're going to go on to the second set now, which is just a little stage for my SCP. This part of the video is going to be rather short because, well, we're going to try and use the green screen this time. To be honest, I did try and use it for my last animation during the race. However, I was having some glitching issues and with stop motion it just takes way too long. So wasn't willing to take the risk, especially with it being on my actual art table. So now that this is in my studio basement, if it screws up, I will only lose hours of work. So here we go. Let's try it again. And we're done already. I guess that is kind of one nice thing about the green screen application. I mean, it did take me about an hour to set up the green screen, which, I mean, it's not perfect, but hopefully it's good enough for the sections that we need it to work on. There probably will be some changes done to this set later on, mainly because a lot of my props still need to be painted. But anyway, if you've made it this far, be sure to like, comment, share with your friends, and subscribe if you're new, and if you're already a subscriber, you should have post notifications turned on. Anyway, that's enough from me. Till next time, take it easy.